G'day. There's a call across the US with the implementation of the Common Core state standards and a call in parts of Canada too with our curriculum reforms to go back to basics, to take mathematics learning for our kids back to what it should be, the mathematics we know and the mathematics we recognise. What we see going on in classrooms, at least with what our kids bring back home to us, seems strange to many, if not bizarre, if not absurd. The exemplar of absurdity making the internet rounds is this example, showing how to compute 32 take away 12 the old-fashioned way and how to compute it the new way. One can only look at this page and say, egad. I agree, 32 take away 12 is just 20 after all. We see the familiar traditional algorithm in this image. The image is a call to go back to the traditional ways, but we as adults have to be really clear as to what we want for our kids, what learning really means. The traditional algorithm certainly feels like learning to us because it's familiar. So let me talk about this example and what's really going on in our classrooms today. But let me work some numbers with a bit more meat to them. Let's do, say, 43 take away 27. Here's how my brain works. When I look at 43 take away 27, I think 3 and 10 and 3 to get the answer 16. Actually, I see this answer in my mind. I see a pair of rulers side by side. Put a 43-inch ruler and a 27-inch ruler next to each other, and we just see that their lengths differ by 3 inches and 10 inches and 3 inches. My brain naturally chunked the difference into three pieces, 3 and 10 and 3, the difference is 16. And maybe you can see how to do this one, 203 take away 125. Put two rulers side by side and see that 75 inches and 3 inches gets from 125 to 203. 203 take away 125 must be 75 and 3. That's 78. Whoa, this is clever problem solving. This is smart, clever thinking. However, I wasn't taught this mode of thinking in school. Back in my day, if I were asked as a youngster to compute 43 take away 27 in a worksheet, I was expected to write the following. This algorithm is very familiar to us adults, and it is hard for us to distance ourselves from it to see how bizarre it really is at face value, because we're so familiar with it. Again, we often create familiar, equate familiarity with understanding. Yes, of course we can unpack the algorithm and make sense of it, explain why we work from right to left, even though we're taught to read from left to right and why changing 3 to 13 is valid if you also change the 4 to a 3, and why doing this carrying is helpful in the first place. But I see what's going on with rulers. I have to work to unpack with what's going on with the traditional algorithm. Another point. Is it even important for our children to do the traditional algorithm in this day and age? If the goal is to reliably get answers to subtraction problems, then the best and most appropriate means to achieve that goal is to pull out one smartphone. We can't be teaching just for the sake of getting answers anymore. We must be teaching for thinking and understanding and developing the skills and confidence to just nut your way through problems. So back to this image. Can you make sense of the image now, what the new way is doing? Of course, the author of this script chose an absurdly straightforward subtraction problem to begin with. And requiring a student to write out such absurdly detailed steps is, well, just absurd. But can you see the thinking in the new way nonetheless? I'd argue that it's harder to see the thinking, not just the procedural doing, in the old way. We adults really do fall into the trap of equating familiarity with understanding. We're teaching mathematics now with understanding. And by the way, students do still learn the traditional algorithm. It's now pushed much later in the curriculum, discussed only when firm understanding of what subtraction is and how it can be computed is fully explored. The traditional algorithm is then seen by one and all as a shortcut pen and paper method codifying all that understanding. And moreover, it is offered only as one of many possible options for computing subtractions. After all, why on earth would I do 43 minus 27 via the algorithm when the answer is so visually obvious? Thanks.